Hey, what's up guys? This is T-Bone here. Today, I wanted to bring you something a little bit different, and that is Legend of Soul Guard. So this is a game that I've covered sometime in the past, and I haven't covered in a while, but I've continued to play on a daily basis. And they finally came out with a new level, a new campaign mode, and I'm really excited for it. It's going to be uh, Niflheim. And I also saw that there's going to be some new updates uh, with the spells that we that we can use, and also there's going to be a new festival coming in a couple of days. So all new, all good things. And I thought that would also cover just other aspects of the game since I've been playing it for a while. Uh, there are new things that have uh, been introduced since I last covered it, so I thought that we will talk about it as I go through the campaign. So the first things first, uh, looks like there's there's a change too in the spells that you have. So right now the spells that we get was Sun Spear. So Sun Spear is the one that we get by the, uh, sort of, you know, as part of the game. And it looks like now we can have new spells. So I can use, so right now Sun Spear is what we have. We can, looks like we can level it up. And then there's also Blinding Light and Topple 4. Those are the Sun spells. And then there's also Moon spells. So what's interesting is uh, figuring out how we're going to be able to unlock it. It doesn't look like it tells you the unlock uh, the unlock conditions just yet whether that's going to be through levels or through collectibles I'm not sure but it looks like we can level it and we need to collect these items in order to uh, in order to, to, to level up so a, a little bit about this game I played this since I last you know uh, since I started almost two years ago I've been doing this strictly free to play and so all of the in-game resources and all of the creatures I've earned were just through uh, just, you know, just through playing and through just participating in all the events. But let's go ahead and go through the campaign right now. This is Niflheim. That is, uh, you know, world number five. And it's been, it was stuck basically like, you know, in the coming soon uh, stage for a very, very long time. And so I'm really excited to see this. So let's take a look. So Niflheim, no one from the eight worlds has been here since the end of last Frost War. Who knows what they've been doing over the centuries. And so, uh, we, you know, we basically follow the main character, Embla, as she goes through and tries to, um, you know, defeat the enemies who are covering the world in ice, essentially. Okay. And so we're going to be going through the, the, the bosses. Now, the thing that I'm kind of curious about, too, is it's been so long since the campaign ended that a lot of the creatures now are really powerful so i'm curious whether i'm just going to be overpowered compared to the levels or have they made it so that it's um you know so that it's actually going to be it's actually going to be uh leveled well for people who have been playing for a long time and so let's see so we can get so so we can Nice, so we can get Moon Mage, uh, Bear Circus, Siren, and Sunblaze. So these characters, uh, these creatures, uh, shards you can already gain from uh, world number four, that's Helheim. Uh, but Siren, I don't think you can. So that's one new character that, we can, uh, one new creature that we can farm. So let's go in and take a look. And so it looks like I'll be able to bring anybody. So I'm going to bring in a combination of creatures. So there are also mythical creatures here. So this is Elderling, and I earned these uh, through some of the events. And what I'll do is I'll go through the, uh, I'll go through mythicals and also legendaries here. So uh, I'll go with Fine Beard and Raven Master is fine. So I'll show you kind of a combination. This is sort of my top team right now, and the spell I can use is Sun Spear. So let's go. Oh, it's gonna cost ten. Uh, 10 stamina so or 10 energy it usually costs eight so it looks like they've increased the energy cost here all right so let's take a look here uh they also introduced a new enemy here so they have a niflheim offers a frosty welcome the free statue turn turns berries and creatures into brittle icicles but like other statues you only have to hit it once to take it out for a while keep your head uh, creatures safe from it or find a way to defrost them i see so it's going to uh basically destroy my defenses so if i have barriers or other things for example it will um it will cause issues for them so for those of you who don't play the basic way to play this game is to do basically a match three or more uh, it's a very w interesting take on a match three type game uh, where you have to put them in in columns okay so you match them in columns where you can do like a four a two by two so like i, I did here with a, a a large um a large creature and you have three turns to do a move a move includes either you know matching or getting rid of one of your uh units or you can bring more units from your reservoir and so i see that the that the ice statue here basically 
I think it's a two turn freeze of my uh, units here. So probably gonna have to wait. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get rid of that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna move here. We're going to use the outer link here. And that's too bad I don't have my, um, it's too bad I don't have this guy available. Otherwise I think I could probably flank him through. All right, so let's see what happens here if I could. So I guess it doesn't, Oh, so it, they just get turned into obstacles. They don't actually... I thought they would thaw it within two, um, two turns. Oh, wow. So this is actually pretty challenging because th those guys now just become... Uh, they just become unusable. So I, I, can't, what I, can, can I can't get rid of them. Uh, okay, so the only thing I can do is bring the um, bring a creature back. Okay. So sort of, now let's sort of see what's going on. The nice thing here is that the enemies aren't too strong because it is just the very first uh, level of the new world. And so we should be able to easily take care of it. So that's the Sun Spear. This is a very different uh, UI now. It looks like you have to charge it up. And the way that you, you, I mean, you still have to charge it up, but the way that you do it looks different. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do an attack here. And so you can see up the top left, that is the... You know, that is the amount of damage that you need to heal before you can beat the level. And so, uh, it's pretty simplistic and it doesn't look like it's too, too challenging. Although, the fact is the the enemy is a little bit different and makes it a little bit more uh, complicated. And that's, that's, that's cool. Alright, so we get this points now every time we use a spell. That's also new. And every time we cast spells, we get additional discs. Okay, so that's what you do. You just have to keep using the spells and you get those discs and then that's gonna help you upgrade. And what's nice is we got three, uh, we got three shards here for Wisp White. So that's good. Generally, you only get about one. So they've really in in increased the the number of, uh, number of creature shards that you can get. So that's good. And the thing about this is, uh, about campaigns is, you go through once, it's gonna be a normal difficulty. Then you come back and you play again for the expert mode. So you basically have to pass it through twice. And it looks like we will go up to level 200, I should expect. Right, 200 is where we go, and then this is where we meet the the end boss and of, of Niflheim. Cool. And so, uh, so that's Niflheim, and before, for the longest time, it was just, you know, like, uh, coming soon. And so we were, I was stuck here farming here for a long time. So let's go through a couple more levels, and we'll take a look at some of the other things. And then uh, we will call it a... Um, I'll call the video. I just wanted to do a quick, you know, introduction to the game and also just kind of share my experience as I play through the the new levels, right? And so I got a couple of, I got a couple of mythicals, and I, I think that my my preferred is Elderling right now. I also really like using Dead Knight. So Dead Knight will, it's it's a legendary, but what it does is every time it attacks a unit, if it lands a critical hit, it becomes stronger as it continues to attack. And so it can really deal a, a devastating amount of uh, damage here. Okay, and here what we what we can do here is because we have three turns, what I can do is I can create two matches uh, of of Dead Knight. So you can see I start with 36 damage, but then if I have another one uh, that's about to deal damage at the same turn, they will sort of boost each other, and you can see the amount of damage that they can both deal will be increased now to 54. And it looks like regardless of how much damage I deal to the statues, I can't get past it. And so I would have to um, make sure not to waste too much of my damage on them. I like Vinebeer. Vinebeer is a really difficult uh, unit to, to deal with when you have to go up against them. Uh, but I like him because uh, what he'll do is he will attack any unit that come up. And it's a, he's a pretty good tank too. So let's go ahead and... Uh, well, I guess we'll, we'll use the Sun Spears as, as much as we can. And these little uh, these little guys right here, every time they attack, they clone themselves. And so uh, the little square tells you where they're going to clone next. So this guy on the bottom left is going to clone another one uh, on, on the very, very bottom left there if he successfully gets an attack off. And he's not going to because I'm going to be able to um, take him out. And so... Those those guys, you really have to take care of them as quickly as possible because if you don't, uh, they really can add up sometimes. And I'm not going to attack there because that's just going to be a waste of my a waste of my attacks. I'm just going to go through here instead. Yeah, so the amount of health of these levels aren't high, so it's easy to get through. But like I said, I do have my my creatures at pretty high levels at this point, so I don't expect it to be too difficult. 
but it is nice that I can earn a lot of uh, creature gems. There's a lot of gems to be earned here and the amount of uh, experience points you can get is really good. So that's cool. So that is the new campaign and we saw a new enemy here and you know let's go through and see what the so what, I, what I'm going to do is we're going to quickly go through now. I'm going to try and speed through the level because I want to see what the mini boss level is going to be like. So a mini boss level is every five levels we will get a mini boss level. And so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of speed through right along. And let's go ahead and um, do this. And one of the things that I like to use, like the reason why I like using Vimepeer and also uh, Raven is the Raven Masters because when they create barriers, so you can create barriers if you match three in a, uh, in a row, they also attack and that is a really good way to, um, to deal damage while giving yourself protection. And so there is a new set of errors. These are a uh, new set of enemies that are snow rollers. They'll grow in strength if they roll over frozen units. I see, so they're going to attack and if they roll over these frozen units, they're going to deal more damage. They're going to grow in, in the damage, so we'll, we'll have to prevent that. So we'll take care of that. And so that's that's basically um, the sort of the power of these mythical units. They deal a lot of damage. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use the Sun Spear so we can get more. So we can get more discs. And yeah, so we're going to be able to quickly uh, go through here. Now, the, the, the creatures that I brought in here, they don't... Uh, I guess I can do this. See, I have four left, and all I have to do is build a barrier, and Fine Beer creates this sort of, like, poison that, that shoots across. Raven Master will actually create a, a barrier that will shoot for three, uh, two turns. If I get it at uh, level 10, at the max level, then I'll be able to shoot it three times. Uh, but right now, at the level I'm at, he's able to shoot for two turns straight. So it's a really helpful... Um, creature I, I really really enjoy using it and if we were to change up a little bit just so i can sort of show you different uh creatures as well uh so this was a new one uh twin worm was a, a creature that was available during the last event and i'm gonna go ahead and bring green guard that's a mythical unit and then i'll bring in lamp so i'm just gonna sort of bring different units uh to play around to show you what they are like as well okay and we've seen this enemy it's um well, it's usually one that you see in the later stages of um, of events. Those tentacles can be really difficult to deal with. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, and, and, and uh, match the lamp rate there. So what Twin Worms does is it'll attack two units and it'll deal fire or poison damage. And it is, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and do this. And you can sort of see where the cracks are. That's where the tentacle is going to, to pop up again. And like I said, I'm going to try and get through this quickly. Uh, I thought I would have attacked there, but I didn't. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attack with the green guard. So that way I don't get, um, that way it does not attack me. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and clear here. We should be okay. I think I can shoot the Sun Spear and... That was short one, one move, but didn't need it anyway. So, if you have uh, legendary creatures, this is going to be pretty simple. But I can imagine this getting really difficult once I get to the uh, expert level. So I'm excited to, for that. And like I said, you know, you're, I'm getting a lot of experience points here, which is good. I'm wondering if the experience points has increased for the previous levels as well. But for sure, if you're waiting for Niflheim, here you go. This is a good, um, this is a this is a good challenge. I like this. All right, so I'm gonna go back to to my sort of my my top team here because I'm curious. I'm curious what the the boss is gonna be like. So this is a mini boss, but it is just the first set. It's not the it's not at the it's not at the expert level yet, but I'm just kind of curious uh, what it's going to be like. So, 147 damage, so it's not too bad. But let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and see. So these frozen statues, if you at if you attack it, but then don't take it out the same turn, then it's going to pop open, and then it will um, have a lot higher damage. At the at the later levels, it becomes pretty devastating because they could have hundreds of of attack. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and build these three here. So the, the goal here is always to, you know, build these creatures. You want to combine them so you can build them and then can do a couple of things. They can help you defend against attacks and also over time they will uh, then uh, deal damage as well because the end goal is to reduce the, you know, basically to break through that wall. You, you need to uh, deal enough damage there. And so we got four uh, werewolf gems. Man, this is really great. This is really really good way to to farm some uh, legendary gems here. So that's that's a really good um, that's really good. That's going to help me progress a lot more. Uh, so if you take a look at the collection here, all of this was earned over time, a long a long time, like over uh, almost two years of play. Okay, so that's going to be it for the campaigns here. Uh, the other mode that I really really enjoy as well is I really enjoy playing through the arena. So there is the concept of the PvP which I enjoy, although the league that I'm in right now, it's a little bit more difficult. And so let's go through a couple and see some rank 77 right now. Top 50 will go into the next level. I am currently in the I'm currently at the Grandmaster 2. I just dropped to Grandmaster 2. Top 50 will move up to the next one, which will get me to Grandmaster 3. And Legend Arena is the one above that. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and try this so generally in pvp i like to use dead knight because that gives me more damage overall so let's see how we do although belakin is an extremely difficult mythical unit to deal with when it gets combined it will shoot out this fireball and it will just con constantly attack it's relentless in its attack all right so i have a and, and when you start in pvp if you if you start first you only get two turns and now i have a choice here I can match a vine beard here, or I could create a barrier and shoot out this whole section on the right side. I think that's what I'm going to do actually, because this is what I can get from this. I think I can first generate this barrier. Oh, uh, I, 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 I thought this was going to give me uh, enough. Um, I, 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 uh, I didn't see that correctly. All right, so I'm going to do now with the last turn, I'm just going to build one away from this area. And now I'm going to have to deal with a large creature, Vinebeard, which is going to attack me when I come up with a um, creature. So you see here, as soon as, I, as soon as I combine a creature, I get attacked there. And it's really difficult for me to attack him. So... Let's see what we can do. Uh, and he, he also creates a fear here. It's going to be unlikely that I'll be able to win this matchup. But let's hope for the best. Because he's got an advantage right now with both his Belican and also his large uh, Vine Beard. But I could try and do a combination here and see if I can... Good. So I can land some critical hits so that gave me some good damage. But the problem now is... The Belican, uh, the the Vine Beer is going to deal 126 damage if I don't take care of it right now, and so I'm going to shoot my Sun Spear. I'm excited for the new spells that's going to come out because that's going to get me. Uh, there's going to be new ways to to um, to defend, and now the problem here is going to be the Ragnar Rooster plus Vine Beer. It'll deal a total of 121. I mean, I can sustain it, but it's going to really severely take my health down. All right, so let's go ahead and... That didn't work out too well for me, unfortunately. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save my... I'm gonna save my unit here so that I could... My, my creature so that I can build something a little bit later. Yeah, so here's the Balakin. So when he attack, when he gets... When he gets um, matched, when he, when he gets, when you match him to create one, he will attack anybody who attacks him, and so Vine Beer automatically attacks him, and then so I get attacked twice, and so this is going to likely be a loss for me at this point, especially given that I'm not getting very good. I am not getting very good um, matches here, so I don't think I'm going to be able to deal enough damage to the Belican here. Uh, I should be able to survive. Well, you know, what I could do here is I could do 20, 30. So here's what I'm calculating. I don't think I'm going to be able to deal enough damage here, but 
I know that if I don't take care of these two Raven Masters, I'm going to die. So this is my option. So the only thing I can do is this match that gets me also the... It gets me attack and also gets me a barrier so that I can protect against the damage. So uh, my hope is I'll be able to land enough of a damage. Where would I... And if I don't do this in this next turn, I need to deal 27 damage. I need to deal 27 damage somehow. And so... Let's... Let's just not... Let's not uh, take a chance and let's go ahead and match our Dead Knight here and hope that we can get some critical hits and we do so that is a win right there. Okay, so that is PvP. It requires a lot of thought and I and I really enjoy this because uh, you know each of the fights does take some time and it's, it's, it's very enjoyable. And so with some of the changes here what I really like is uh, now that every time I use my spell, I'm earning additional points towards my uh, towards building and leveling up my spells and also getting new spells unlocked. So I'm I'm really happy about this change. So I'm really I'm really excited about that. So I'm now at um, position 43. Now let's take a look and see what we earned there. So I think I can go back to here and let's take a look at the inventory. So I earned nothing there but spells. And so let's see. Didn't earn anything there, but here here are the the discs, and as I collect more, I think I will earn something. So I'm gonna have to to read up more on uh, what I'm actually earning and, and what is going to. Looks like the discs level, so I can see here I've earned seven, and the if I get 50 of the disc points, then I'll get to disc level two, and that's going to give me a stronger spells. So I think that's that's you know overall I'm excited about this change. I think it adds a little bit more, um, you know, it definitely adds to more of the things that we can already do in this game. There's a ton of things to do in the game, and the best thing of, about it is um, I was able to. To, to stay strictly free to play for this game so check it out it is uh, legend of Sogar. it's a lot of fun and now they've uh, added the fifth uh, world uh, in the campaign i think it's uh, finally you know uh, what we've been asking for for a very long time so i'm very happy about this so that's gonna be it for today guys thank you very much if you have any questions about the game feel free to message me in the video in the comment below and i'm happy to talk talk you through that as well so that's it thank you take care and i'll see you next time bye now